opened my first studio in 1991 in Berlin Kreuzberg and we called it Multiple Noise which was a great name for that time. It was the time when analog melted together with the digital. So we really had multiple solutions to find and it was a challenge and a trip to be part of this journey. And now 30 years later in our main studio, I installed the Dolby Atmos setup with a speaker line of head audio. And lucky me, I found a team of very talented young engineers working for us. When I listened to Dolby Atmos music the first time, it became clear to me that this is going to revolutionize the audio landscape in the same way that stereo did in the 50s. And I am sure that this will transport also into the consumer world. So now also your favorite songs are being mixed in Dolby Atmos. Old songs, you know, you love them and now you hear them in a new dress. And this new dress is so much more colorful than it used to be. You can move inside the room and experience the songs from a new perspective. And you can hear ingredients of the song you've not noticed before. And this just feels great. So our most exciting part of the work in the future will be to help artists translate their musical visions into an immersive audio experience. The decision for the speaker line of head audio was definitely a very good one. They're engineered on a higher standard. Still, you can tell that a development has included a lot of experience. I really love their musical response. On the low end, it has this musical beef and volume and warmth you want, while on the high end, it opens nicely, brilliantly and silky. So it's not a problem to listen to a Dolby Atmos mix for a couple of hours on a pretty high volume. It's pure enjoyment. <laughs> 